WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, 30 minutes into the trading day. We got markets starting off slightly to the negative. Dow Jones negative 13 points, trading at 27,206. S&P is right now negative by about three, trading at 29.81. NASDAQ negative by 18 points, trading at 81.66. And you got the Russell 2000 negative two points, trading at 15.48. As we start things off, we're going to jump over to the VIX this morning. Check out that volatility index. A little bit of negative action in the market yesterday, seeing some VIX action to the upside. 14.11 currently in that S&P volatility index. Start things off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. Got a little bit of volatility right around the opening bell this morning. We pull back from about 8.30 until right till the opening bell at 9.30. We're getting a bit of a pop from about 27,140. We just peaked above 27,200 briefly in the Dow futures, currently trading 27,186. NASDAQ 100 trading higher for most of the overnight session after pulling back hard. And that is right into the close. And then further, you have Netflix earnings out disappointing greatly. You have Netflix down more than 10% right now. That weighing on most of the indices, 78.85 in the NASDAQ 100. S&P is trading at 29.83 currently. Crude oil contract pulling back a bit, still over 50. I was going to say over 57. No, we're, we're under that level from the last hour I was doing this. We were just sitting at about $57, currently trading 56.14. You got the gold contract trading at 1419, made it all the way up to almost 1430 last night at about six o'clock. Excuse me, in Euro US dollar trading 11218. As I mentioned it, Netflix earnings last night, disappointing. They're down more than 10%. The global net ads, 2.7 million subscribers. They were looking for 5 million subscribers. Also lost 100,000 subscribers in the U.S. It was expected to gain over 300,000. And Morgan Stanley beats on profit estimates as rising stock benefit, wealth management, and fund divisions. And to get over to those two stocks, started off with Netflix. There you go, quite a drop. It's paired some of those losses from 314 to 323, but down 10%. And Morgan Stanley bouncing a bit, 4388, up about a quarter percent. Stay tuned, folks. Come back at 10 o'clock with Tom. We got natural gas inventories at 1030. Live programming after that all day at TFNN. Have a great Thursday.